Earlier this month, Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton told the South Carolina audience that she's in favor of reclassifying cannabis from Schedule 1 to Schedule 2 on the DEA's list of the most dangerous drugs. But while this proposal is a step forward, it does nothing to protect states with legal recreational cannabis. Additionally, Clinton's main Democratic rival, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, has already pledged to remove cannabis from the Controlled Substances Act completely, going so far as to introduce a Senate bill to end the federal prohibition of weed. Currently, the U.S. government classifies cannabis as a Schedule I substance alongside heroin, ecstasy, and LSD. Drugs in this category are considered to have a high potential for abuse and dependence and no medical value. Clinton pointed out that this designation makes studying cannabis difficult, which is why she wants to see a reclassification occur. According to the current Democratic frontrunner, cannabis should be rescheduled so that researchers at universities and national institutes of health can start researching the best way to use it, how much people should consume, and how the plant interacts with other medications. In addition to more studies on cannabis, a downgrade to Schedule 2, where drugs like cocaine, meth, and oxycodone reside, would make the plant eligible for medical uses. Clinton explained that she wants to support research into medical marijuana because a lot more states have passed medical than have legalized. So we've got two different experiences or even experiments going on right now. Previously, Clinton has said that she supports medical but not recreational cannabis, as well as reforming the criminal justice system to keep low-level drug offenders out of prison. While important, Clinton's new but only marginally extended stance falls in line with her prior skepticism and further highlights the presidential candidate's ignorance of cannabis and studies that have been done. Moreover, the American people are already far beyond this level of uncertainty when it comes to weed. States with legal cannabis require federal action now, like Sanders proposes, not half measures that leave them at the whim of some future prohibitionist president.